loud. Okay. Hi guys. Thank you so much for hopping on tonight. We are so excited to have Jose from the nine week control freak cast, um, talk to us and just kind of share and be able to be here for you. If you have any questions, um, when did we first meet? Was it like 2014? Oh, uh, wow. Was, I, I, think this I don't even remember if it was at a summit or one of the incentive trips. It was, yeah. it has to be, I have tons of selfies with you and with Kelly. I mean, it's, it has to be either a cruise or a summit. Do you go to one yeah. of the cruises? Well, I think it was Cancun. I think it was Cancun, Cancun or something like that. Really? But now, I think we had met before Cancun. I think, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe summit because somehow you knew Kelly. He knew my upline and we connected yeah. and I've just been obsessed with him ever since. He's such a great human. Um, he's so funny. He's so, uh, he's such a great coach. And um, he is going to tell you a little bit about him. He's a girl dad. He's been around the block for many, many years like myself. And he just has such a passion for coaching that is just, um, it's just contagious. And when you watch him, you're smiling because you know that he loves what he does so much. And so Jose, we are so <laughs> thankful for you taking time away from you and your family. Oh, and um, we're all ears for anything you want to tell us. So take it away. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure. So, and it's an honor. So I'm always happy to do that. About me, um, I've been a coach now for 10 years. Well, this will be my 11th. I started back in 2010. I did Peanut EX when it was on DVDs. There was no challenge packs or anything like that at that time. It was really so much, so different and, and way tougher to do Success Club, for example, um, at that time. But the reason I started was I, I, I was working out at home, but I had a Bowflex machine, I had an elliptical machine, I had a bunch of these gadgets that I used, but I wasn't getting any results. I mean, I was going pretty much through the motions. Work out in the morning, working out in the afternoon, swimming or something like that. And if you look at, if you go to my website, uh, my Facebook or Instagram, you see, scroll down, you'll see a big picture of me with long curly hair and a big belly, that's me working out twice a day and I wasn't having any results. Um, and I was really frustrated. So I tried P90X. I had never met anybody that had done P90X or anything like that, but I say, hey, whatever I'm doing, is not working. So let me try something new. And in just one month, I saw a big difference in my body. That's when I became a coach. And yes, at the end of P90X, the, the results that I was looking for, for the last four or five years, I got them in three months. So that's why I love this company. I love the programs. I love the products, technology, and everything that's come up um, throughout the years because it actually works. And uh, again, I was, I became a coach. I was doing what a coach does without knowing there was actually something called a coach. I was just talking to people about P90X and that I was doing, I was sharing what I was doing on, on, on Facebook um, and people were buying it from Beachbody, that's at some point I saw something about a coach and hey, I've become a coach. I was in a, approached by, by by outline, I was assigned to her and when I opened an account. And um, again, it's been a roller coaster of, of, uh, of these 10 years. Um, there was a big change when they started doing Beachbody on demand that it took me a while to get used to because with DVDs, a new program came out, you had to buy DVDs. And then with Beachbody on demand, at first they were including every single program that was coming out first. They didn't have an early access or anything like that. So, in a way, it was how do I adjust this? Because then I need to find new people to get on Beachbody on demand, or or just the psychology because they already in Beachbody on demand. It was a little bit tougher. Um, but hey, we we have to adjust with the times. Um, then in 2017. I, um, we had Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico and nine days after, <laughs> okay, I, I, I know, <laughs> uh, I'm reading the, 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 the message. Um, with Hurricane Maria, nine days after Hurricane Maria, I moved here to California. It was for a little bit, I have family here. They said, hey, stay with us for a little bit until things get better back home in Puerto Rico. And uh, things didn't get better. I mean, if you heard about Maria, it was the island still a year after part of the island were still without any power or anything like that. So we decided to stay. And believe it or not, I stopped working the coach business. I was here. I was trying to find a job. Um, I um, 
I got a job in sales, like copiers and stuff like that, which I hated. Um, and I had these all these mental blocks of I'm here. I don't know people here. How do I start over the business? I felt like a failure for stopping. And suddenly my coaches started like canceling subscriptions and stuff like that. How do I, um, I, how do I start this over again? I mean, I didn't have to solve confidence. I was with the programs. I was also part of the Los Angeles Market Council. We actually started it, um, but I wasn't working the business. Um, and uh, last year, 2020, I decided to, hey, let me, let me take this serious again. I'm in the Market Council. In August of, that, of 2019, I lost uh, that sales job, which was a blessing in disguise. And last year I said, all right, I know how to do this. Let me get all my mental blocks out of my head and just start inviting, start as a brand new coach. And I reached Diamond again last uh, December. And my goal this year is to be five-star Diamond, also a lead coach, a 10X rule. I'm going to set them and I'm finding a way and, I, and I'm back. And uh, <clears> the <throat> How I got into Nine Week Control Freak, it was a combination of knowing Autumn and good luck being at the at the best place at the best time. I think I don't know if that's the way it goes, but something like that. Um, I met Autumn in one of those incentive trips. It was when she just came out with 21 Day Fix, and um, it was at a cruise. And she also remembers me because I was. She says you were the first person who actually approached me to ask for a picture. April knows me. I have no, I don't get embarrassed about anything. I just go and, I mean, I tripped at one of the summit parties on stage. So um, I, I'm like that. I don't have any vergüenza is the word in Spanish. I completely for a blank out. Out of the way in English. 25, she's covering the Focus T25 shirt. Hey, that's my program. That's not my program. I'm like, well, I have another program. It just came out. But we kept seeing each other um, on the cruise. In Puerto Rico, I was part of the market council. So I was one of the first coaches in Puerto Rico. So I literally, we started the market council over there. And she came to Puerto Rico a couple of times. And I was her inter uh, translator. I was her handler throughout that somehow because i don't know how it was at that time today you get into test groups if you're a success starters at that point at that time 2015 i have no clue how you did that i just got a call one time that hey uh we want you to be part of the hammer and chisel um test group I'm like perfect that's awesome and uh in those test groups the, the trainers are constantly in contact every day posting answering questions while you do the, the um programs but it was only like 20 people 25 40 people at, at the most i also did i was also part of the 80 day obsession test group and during in the middle of that one is when hurricane maria happened so when i there was no power there was no way for me to do the workouts because they were being streamed live um when you were when we were in that test group so i was able to get a signal and uh in my neighborhood a little top of the where the clubhouse was it's like a little mountain and it was there and i was able to send a message after like five days <clears throat> five six days of no communication hey this happened i haven't been able to do it but i'll be i mean just to let you know what's going on hopefully the power will come back soon and we'll be able to continue and it never did when i got to california i sent them the message i'm in california now in autumn herself replied to me by messenger hey jose now that you're here please give me a call when you have a chance you've supported me and my programs and all that since we started i want to help you out i want to take you and your family to dinner um she also invited me to the set uh one of the days that they were filming 80 day obsession where they gave me dumbbells everything i had left everything back home but they gave me dumbbells and everything to continue the program i finished it but i, I missed about 14 20 days something like that um and uh, during that time, we also she asked me, hey, is there a way that we can help Puerto Rico? I mean, I feel really bad for what's going on. And we planned and had an event, a fitness event. I told her, why don't we do a fitness something? Let's call it Sweat for Puerto Rico. And uh, I can teach an insanity live class. And there has to be some live, coach, live coaches over here that can do anything, that can do something like that. And we finish up with you. You, I mean, you're the attraction, not me. <laughs> and we, everything that we, 
we raised thirty thousand dollars for that event. She got Jericho and uh, Joel. They had come out with Court of Fords that year. They came out and did, did um, a workout with her. The three of them together. Tanya uh, flew over also. She did a country live workout. So it was really cool. And there wasn't apparently there wasn't an, any Los Angeles Market Council here. So Beachbody asked Kaylee to do it, and I'll come asked me if I could help Kaylee. Yeah, I'm like, sure. Um, not the, right now, I don't work at Luth, but I, I can help in whatever needs to be done. And we kept that communication. That was 2017, 2018, and we kept talking. When I lost my job again, uh, 2019, and I started taking the business seriously, I started recruiting coaches, and one of my coaches had told me, so she sent me a text that, uh, Doug, if you, I know that you know Autumn, please let her know that she literally saved my life. I was really depressed, overweight, and I thought about taking my life. And it was her programs that actually made me transform my health. And, and she literally told, uh, uh, saved my life. And um, I text her that. And the next day, I also text her, hey, by the way, if you have a new program coming out, I'm available. Um, <clears throat> uh, just uh, let me know, just throw it out there. You know, there's a saying in Puerto Rico that el que no llora no mama, which is uh, translate to breastfeeding, the baby doesn't cry, they won't suck. So that's a right translation. And uh, hey, I just asked it. You never know. That's why you always ask. I'd rather have somebody say no than never ask and keep thinking what if. So June 30th, I got a text from her. Hey, hi, hey, Jose, how are you doing? I got a little project uh, that I'd like you to be part of. Are you interested? I think I was thinking of a test group or something like that. I'm like, sure. What do we have to do? Well, I have a new program coming out. I'd like you to be part of the cast. I'm like, Whoa! You know, it's it's that's any coach. I think that's part of the bucket list. You want to be in in one of those workout programs. And for me, this is actually the second one. I was when Mes de Mas. Mes de Mas is the Spanish one. When it first came out, I was also asked um, to be part of it because I was looking for people who spoke Spanish. And that was circumstances. I was here, and the the Hispanic market um, marketing manager over there. He told me, "Hey, you're still in California. You want to be part of it?" I'm like, "Sure." I had to call in sick for work, and a bunch of other ones call in saying that the girls were sick. Started to sneak in and, and do my workouts there. Um, but this one, I was gonna be there in Mesemas. I'm only in six of the workouts. In this one, it's me in all of them. So it's, and it's Autumn, she's like the top trainer right now. So it's, it, it was a hell of a ride. I mean, I got anxiety because of COVID. I didn't know if we were, uh, didn't want, I became a hermit. I didn't want to go out or anything like that, canceling any activities. And I couldn't tell anybody until the program was announced, which was about three weeks after. But that program, it was a secret. So people were like, what's wrong with you? No, nobody, you don't want to do anything. Why are you canceling everything? I just didn't want to risk getting COVID. But um, anyway, we filmed it. It was 13 weeks. Um, it was a great experience. We didn't, I was telling Kate at the beginning, please take the rest days. Are you taking the rest days? Because we didn't have that benefit. So our bodies were broken. We, I mean, we overloaded our bodies with the uh, overwork that we filmed sometimes two, sometimes three workouts a day. And with no rest days, that meant cryotherapy, which for a Puerto Rican, it's really <laughs> hard to, to do, but I did it a couple of times. I went to a chiropractor for the first time. I learned a lot about self-care. That's And I like the fact that she has a control stretch every night and we filmed the foam rolling uh, workouts because that's something that I really didn't care about until I did this program. And um, cryotherapy. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I just close my eyes and start dancing. They put music and that's it. Um, so I get. I think that's the whole story about it. Um, I'm want to open the questions or April. I mean, you. I'm here for you. So you let me know. How do you want to? You want to do this? Let me open the chat. Yeah, absolutely. Some. Anybody? Um, come on. Talk, uh, tell them your name and ask any questions you have. I know we have Lindsay. I don't think Kayla's on here. I don't think I saw her. Lindsay was in the test group because she was a- So nice. Yeah. yeah. So um, you guys both got to, I mean, you were in the cast first and, um, you know, Lindsay was doing that, which was really cool. But um, I I will ask a quick question. How do you think, sure. um, you know, with, with any newer coaches having the ability to hit success starters and be in a test group, 
what would you say since you've been able to be in so many of them, what would you say the best part or um, the most beneficial or, you know, part you enjoyed the most about being in test groups? It's that, again, you, you get to experience something way before everybody else. And you have, it's something that you can offer more of your perspective of the program and your experience with the program or new people. I mean, the, the um, and, it, and with your team so that they can share their, share more about the program, the inside of the program, how it works. It's, um, I mean, for somebody who has not been part of a test group, they have to wait until the program comes out. They have no idea how it's, how it's going to be, how long it's going to be, how uh, the moves are, how hard it is or how easy it is. Um, it, it, if you're part of the test group, it's, you get that perspective that gives you an advantage of, of, on, over any other coach that hasn't had that experience. And uh, you get that personal, well, I don't know now with the test groups being so big and now they have like 700 people, uh, 800 people. But at that time, it was very small. So every, every question was answered. It, it, was, it was really cool. And, and you feel special. I mean, I, that's, I mean, it, you, you did it. I mean, you were part, you worked hard for us as a success starter to be in that. And it's a sense of pride. And it will actually give you more of uh, incentive to work the business. Hey, I was part of this. I want you to be, I, I already experienced it. I want you to do it because I know if I could do it, you can do it. I think that's kind of like, <laughs> like yeah. one of the things. Absolutely. Um, okay, so Jessica wants to know what's the biggest thing you learned while doing nine week control freak? Self-care, literally self-care. Again, um, it's, I was one of those that hated rest days in between programs. I know Hammer and Chisel um, was used to, I mean, working out from Monday through Friday or Saturday if it was a six day program or Monday through Friday. But when Hammer and Chisel came out, it's like, what is this? Is this rest day in between? Why do I need that? I don't like that because I don't want to work out on, on, on Sundays. So, um, and now when we were filming this, five days straight with all the overload. I'm like, I'm, I'm older now, I'm 44 now. It's not the same as 10 years ago when I was 34 and my body needs that. So the self-care is so important. So I, um, we, didn't even, we didn't have the benefit either of the controlled stretches because we would finish filming and then she would film that on her own. Um, and then when she would go back to the, to the dressing room. So our self-care was pretty much on our own. The foam rolling videos and the additional stretch videos were filmed at the end after we had filmed all the workouts. So we didn't get that. Uh, we had to do our self-care on our own. And I got, so now I'm more into doing my foam rolling every day. I'm doing Theragon every day. Um, I'm meditating, which I still don't know if I'm doing it right because my mind is always going a thousand ways. I don't know. It just keeps thinking of stuff while they're trying to give me the own stress meditation. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping to it. Um, I'm doing it stretches at night. Um, and like I mentioned, I did the cryotherapy. I went to a chiropractor for the first time. I didn't really believe in them, but hey, it worked. So I'm the Theragun. So that was the one thing that we did. A, we filmed a podcast recently with Autumn, the cast, and that's the thing that I talked about, more, the, what I learned the most. How self-care is an integral part of your health and your fitness. I mean, there's a workout, there's nutrition, but you also have to take care of yourself. In, I mean, after the workouts, after the nutrition. Okay, any questions? Oh, I mean, something. Hey, Jose. What's up? <laughs> oh, so first, I just love seeing you on there. You crack <laughs> me up. There's some things that you do. I'm just like dying, which makes it more fun, you know, when you're doing a workout program. Um, and my husband likes watching you too, because he can kind of gauge what weights you're using. I know with like, for me, I'll see autumn will be using like 15, 20s on a certain move. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to do my weights then to what she's doing, you know, so it pushes yeah. me more. So I love that you're on there to push the guys to be like, no, do you have your weights? And you pick heavy weights and you're like, I grabbed the wrong weights. <laughs> well, I, um, the first couple of. I mean, the first week I was, I was trying to keep up with Tanya. That was my goal, <laughs> which was a mistake. Um, so 
because of that, I that first week I was using ways that I, I know I could do higher, but if I wanted to do more rounds, yeah, I was like, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm because I want to keep up with her. But then the first time that I did more rounds on her intensity, that's when I changed my mindset. I said, okay, you know, this is my workout. I'm, this is my actual workout for these nine weeks. Yeah. I need to do the best I can. So I'm going to challenge myself knowing that I'm going to do less rounds on her, but I need to go higher in weights because I think I'm going to be shitting on myself if I don't do that. Yeah, that was awesome. So my question for you is, did you follow the nutrition program of either Portion Fix, To Be Mindset? Did you drink Shakeology? I've seen you drink Energize, but can you tell us what nutrition you did and supplement? So I followed uh, Portion Fix. I was on maintenance. I am, I'm not weighing myself that, that, that much. I actually didn't weigh myself or during during filming, I did it because they required me to day one at end of each phase to weigh and measure myself. But I was I my weight is in between 170, 165. That's what I'm comfortable with. Um, so I was eating from Plan C on maintenance. And um, the good thing about the program is that again, it says take control of your nutrition. That doesn't mean that you have to go 100% clean. I did not. I follow foundational fix which allows you to have three days uh, a week of treats. I mean, you can substitute with whiskey on my end or wine or um, we, I celebrated my birthday over there that day. I had cupcakes on the set and I had whiskeys. Um, it, the, the mindset is like, all right, you don't need to be a hundred percent clean, but be mindful of what you're eating pretty much and uh, on portion control. So you can have your cake and eat it too. Um, and uh I normally eat 90%, 85% clean. Then I have that 10, 15% of my whiskeys and my, I never feel bad if I eat a pizza, if I eat a cupcake. I don't eat th those kind of foods normally. So when it comes to, when it's available, I know I've worked on my nutrition at 85, 90% of the time. All right. So that those days that I ate something that is not the actual good yellows, I didn't feel bad. And that's something that I tell people, you don't need to be 100% on this just to make sure that you follow in the nutrition plan you actually have those three days that you can substitute and that's it i did um at the during phase three last two weeks i did the carb cycling um i just wanted to see if i could get a little bit more shredded um i i actually asked uh, autumn hey is it okay if i do carb cycling um and she said hey you're in control you decide i'm not gonna tell you i mean what, what you what you want to do. I just want you to follow the, the the plan as is. You take control of your life. You're taking control of everything here. So if that's what you want to do on, on terms of nutrition, then do it. And even though um, I wasn't looking to lose weight, I did burn fat because I lost 3.6 pounds um, in those nine weeks, but a total of 5.8 inches of my body and four of those were from my from my waist, from my belly. So I did get more shredded. Um, I saw way more definition on my arms. So if you do follow the plan as is, um, you will have the results that, that you want. If you want maintenance, you'll get shredded. If you want uh, to lose weight, just do the calculations and do the calculations at the end of each phase. Uh, I didn't do time nutrition because it took me about 40, 45 minutes to drive to the set. And plus I had to wake up early for the girls to do all the breakfast uh, for their distance learning and all that before heading out. So time-wise, it didn't make sense. Plus I like to mix and match the containers as I like, not like, oh, this container needs to have a fruit. I'm like, no, I like to throw all my fruits on my Shakeology. I don't know, I don't do that. In terms of supplements, Shakeology, I never miss a day. And yes, energize and recover. Those, those three are, are, for me, are key, especially um, sometimes in the set, I would have my energized with three scoops. If I knew I had to, uh, we had a couple of workouts, I, I added three scoops. Um, and uh, I saw today that I did have hydrate because I know at some point I started having hydrate during the workout. Um, and the reason was usually because I knew we were filming more. Hydrate is for longer workouts like for 45 minutes and over 
and it's just to for the electrolytes to get the the electrolyte electrolytes back into your body the glucose back into your body if a 30 minute workout really you don't lose that much unless it's really hot and you're sweating a lot it won't really you won't really need it but over there yes we were sweating we have the lights on even though it was some we got in the set and it was like 62 degrees and i'm like this i'm freezing no matter what uh, by after the the warm-up you're already uh sweating there so those energize recover and uh jacology if you want to have hydrate cool but it's not necessary <laughs> that's great thanks for sharing that too because your um, results from the program are incredible. So it's great to hear that, you know, you can do portion fix and still enjoy mm -hmm. the things that you want to eat. Um, and following that, you've got to have your whiskey and pizza, yeah. and all of that, and your results are incredible. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in Flavia. I get whiskeys every three, every three weeks. So I, 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 I'm, I don't drink every day. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Come on, with that. Wait, no way, Jose. <laughs> um let me see what okay what bigger thing i learned now we can do okay when you decided to start really trying to move your business what was your first few things you started doing to push yourself forward uh i worked on my why i mean i was literally all right i i need to do something i know i love being a coach i love the feeling of of helping other people i need to start as a brand new coach I put that as, okay, I'm starting all over. What do I need to do? And I went back and started watching all the training videos on the on the back office. And if you have the business activity tracker and you follow it. The first thing you have to fill out is your why. So I took a big bag. Okay, why do I want to do this? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't have a job. I need a job. I need to make money and help support um, help support my, my, my wife. My wife is working. She was, thankfully, she made a career change that we're, we're making way more than we were in Puerto Rico. It allowed me to work more on the business. Um, but it's pretty much, yeah, start with your why. It has to be something that the days that when you feel like shit, sorry for the language, that you don't want to do anything. When you read it, hey, okay, so I let me at least do the minimum. I'm inviting at least five people, show up, do my workout, post the clips, wh whatever the thing, uh, everything that's on the DAT. That's that's what I at least minimum doing the days that you don't want to. But that's uh the other thing. All right, I need to do something. I don't and also also when I was interviewing, it was pretty much for a lot of stuff for sales. I didn't want to do back to sales. So that was another push. I don't want to go back to being on sales or an advertising agency, which is my background, where you stay late, you're never home. I mean, it was an avoidance of getting back to what I hate it and I needed to make money. Uh, yes, I follow foundational fix. I hate rest days, but I'm so thankful for them. Yeah, I know. You know what? I also, I mean, and this is uh, something that I recommend you. Every time I finish a long program like this, Mind We Control Freak, I take a whole week off. Resting. No workouts, nothing. Um, I did it with P90X every time I finish a program because the body will thank you for that. I mean, you will not, if you... Start, you could keep eating the right way. You still follow the portion fix. Um, to be mindset. I don't know much about to be mindset for me. It's so much easier with the container. So I, I can't talk too much about uh, to be mindset for, but um, portion fix is so easy for me. If you follow that, you will not gain weight. You will stay at a, a around same weight in one week. You will not lose the endurance. And yes, you will be sore when you start over the week after, but Hey, it happens no matter what I'm, fit and no matter what if i start a new program i'm always sore that first week so um that's something i recommend if you saw autumn um today's what, thursday wednesday yesterday she talked about she's overtrained on her stories and she was taking a whole week off it's because she's this is her like fifth time doing nine week control freak without a break so i i take them i take the rest days and i also take a week off just to relax it's weird and I feel like I need to do some workout, but I know that my body will thank me for that. When I finished P90X the first time, I tried to do another round right away and I couldn't. There was my body wasn't responding. That's when I learned about resting and recovery and how important it is. 
I love it. The chat is blowing up with like, I never thought about taking a week off because we just focus on what's doing the next thing. And I think it's so mm -hmm. important, like you said, and focusing on self-care and you know what that could look like, active stretches. We have so many foam rolling workouts, dynamic recovery with MM1. Mm -hmm. Any options of if you are like I saw Jessica's like I do it for my sanity or Kate um, <laughs> you move your body but still be serving it in rest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some yoga, something, something where you're not putting your body through the grinder. That's uh, that's that's. I mean, sometimes I didn't even do yoga. I just slept late. I didn't wake up early for to to work out. Um, yeah, you, you. I mean, you won't. Your body won't do anything. I mean, you're taking care of it that rest week. You won't gain 10 pounds or anything like that. You will stay the same. Okay. Yeah. So what round of nine-week control freak are you on now? I am actually on my second. Um, because when I finished, I took a whole week off um, when we finished filming. Then I tried to start 30-day breakaway. Uh, I don't like running. I will admit it. I, I, I because and I ran before knowing Beach Body and I hated it. So, but I, I know it at least and I'm like, okay, I need to do this. I'm going to start doing it. But then it was too cold for me to run outside. I'm sorry. It's again, maybe not for, for Puerto Ricans, 60 something is cold. So I couldn't, I couldn't run outside. I don't have a treadmill here. So I stopped it. Then I did a cup. Uh, I started MBFA because I was in the third, I remember the first day of rehearsals, I was starting my third week of MBF. And I said, all right, let me, it was a Monday and I did the leg day that morning. I'm like, well, we're gonna be rehearsing only. And it was a huge mistake. We got there and we went through what, the first day of the of DCT and we did a Tabata and then we marked. <laughs> so I did like four workouts that day and I could barely walk the next day on rehearsals. Um, but, there was something that, I mean, after doing nine week control freak, it was really hard for me to do another program. It's so, I mean, I, it's, there, there's nothing like nine week control freak. It's so cool. Every day is different. Uh, it's so dynamic. And I just found some of the other ones like too slow. I don't know what, what it is. So I was doing, I did a couple of workers from nine week control freak. Then I did a, a little bit of 21 day fix extreme because I wanted to start with my, um, with my challenge group. And then when I got my tracker, like a week after I started right away, I just didn't wanna, I, want, I wasn't gonna do it with my wife. I was waiting for her to get her, her, her stuff so we could do it together. And it was tough for me to <laughs> do something else other than I'm control freak. So I started on the 11th of December, um, seven plus wait, seven plus seven on the 14th of December. Um, so I'm still in my second round. I am week two, phase two. Today was day four of that. Okay. And you may have, I think you kind of said this, but was this your favorite program so far? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> not, just, not just because I'm in it, but, um, also again, it's, I love, I, I, I don't remember every, I mean, people ask me, what was your favorite day? I I, get, I would say it was my birthday. I mean, because every day is different. There's no one day where I can say this is my favorite workout of, uh, of the whole nine weeks because every day is different. I know I had a hell of a time that day and we filmed, I think, two or three workouts a day on my birthday, but it, it, it was. And uh, maybe the last day, the day that we, not the last day we finished then we control freak, the day where we filmed, for some reason, I... Maybe it's because it's the newest one or the, the one that's more fresh for me, for, but the one for the Super Weekend, I don't know, I had so much fun that day. I mean, it's like so relaxed. This is the last one or whatever. And I, I know it's Tabata. I don't like Tabata that much, but we had tons of fun on, on, on that workout. Yeah, even filming the foam rolling ones, there's a point that Tanya starts laughing and Autumn, and the long one. and. Autumn's like, what are you doing? And she says, Jose, oh, he's making funny faces. He wasn't funny faces. <laughs> he was at, um, we were rolling on our hips and women don't have testicles, but men do. And rolling, I kind of like pinched one of them. I'm like, oh, I don't know. They maybe muted it. And 
Tanya saw it or heard it and she started laughing. <laughs> and it happened on the second one. The second one I tried it, but it's, it's hard to avoid. Um, so yeah, uh, we, we had so much fun. We created this sense of family and everything. It, it's, it's, it was tough when we were done. It's like, oh, we need to, Tanya, can you like fly and we can work out together on the set every day, something like that, because it, it was tons of fun. Every, every day was different. Every day we had so much fun. <laughs> oh. I love this. And I just, I just love being able to talk about it and sharing your passion with it too, because so many people are like, every day I say, this is my new favorite workout. And I know. it is, it is so cool too. I was, I was laughing today because I was doing the Tuesday workout, which was I think shoulders and triceps. And I think I did two rounds before I actually realized what I was supposed to be doing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I was doing something totally different, but it's still burning. So yeah, I know it's, it is fun, and and I mean, uh, in the set we cursed. We were, I mean, you see us struggling. We are, it's, it's true. We're not even faking anything. I mean, we we're struggling. Their their curses were in English, so they get muted. My curses are in Spanish, so you'll hear carajos, puñetas, and coños, and that's me cursing, and they don't know that it's a curse or a bad word, and they just kept it there. Um, there's actually what was it? Let me see. No, on this Tuesday that often spits her energized from her nose. That's because I'm, um, they muted what I did because um, I have this thing, I love singing and I have this thing that if somebody mentions something that reminds me of a song, I just burst out singing that song. And it was something about, uh, what was it? She mentioned something like, what do they say? Or what do they say? And the song that came up in my mind is, what does the fox say? And I sang it ding, 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 really loud. Oh, well, she was doing her, well, she was drinking it, and that's why it came out of her nose. Um, and I, I got called into the office <laughs> a little bit after that and uh, by Carl. He's like, Jose, <laughs> you're doing awesome. I love your energy. I love your Spanish. Uh, you're doing great, but I need you to stop singing. <laughs> Not because you have a bad voice. Is that when you sing X amount, Amount of their pay for <laughs> copyright and all that stuff, and then we can't edit that out, so we would have to pay for the rights for that music, even though it's a cappella and you're just singing it randomly. So I had to stop singing after a while. It's like Autumn has been there, and she knows how long. That's why she only like says a couple of words of a song. But I know you don't know it. But I just want to let you know that that you you have to stop <laughs> singing that because you you're gonna make this production more expensive if you keep singing. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Brandon. That's so funny. Um, well, I is anybody, I want to take a picture. Does anybody have any other questions or anything for Jose before we do that? Oh I just stood up and I can't. It hurts so bad. Everything hurts. Okay. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I can imagine doing two or three workouts. I literally cannot. Um, okay, let me stop the recording real quick.